Hello, again. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm honored to be joined by my lovely assistant Jenny today. Shout out. You want me to shout out? Shout out to me. Yeah, you can turn the camera on really quick so we can see. No, that. that's okay. No, just just really. Quick. I'll be in the video later. Okay. <laughs> so this is the carburetor from the CRF 80 project. It is totally stuck, just like everything else on the bike. But yeah, the throttle tube isn't coming out at all. I don't know if you can see that. It's just that little slide. In fact, I should probably be calling it a throttle slide. Anyway, the rest of the car doesn't look very good either. Yeah, it's pretty gunked up. Yeah, either side. I definitely don't want to bring this, or I don't want to force this out. I got a beautiful carb rebuild kit. Mmm. With all the knickknacks and goodies. New parts. Five bucks. I love the smell of new parts. The smell? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yum. I was looking up ways and chemicals I could use to like get this apart. Turns out a lot of people are like boiling these in water um, and it loosens things up. So we're going to try that today. And uh, first I'm going to disassemble it as much as I can. I'm not sure how much it's going to let me take apart. But I'm going to do that and then we're going to pop it in a pot of water, boil it for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes and see what happens. First. Safety first. Mickey Mouse mitten. Mickey Mouse mitten. Okay, I just set it in. Yeah, just like lower it in there. Mm. Oh, water's already so brown. Do we to lower the boil? Yeah, this isn't gonna like catch fire, is it? I don't think so. Should have planned for this. Wow, yeah. There's a lot of floating crap in there. Yeah, it is hard. Give that cable just a just a little tug, like see if it wants to come out. No, not yet. We just opened the window because the vapors do not smell good. <laughs> so if you're attempting this at home, maybe start with the window open. Who knows how it would be for? Oh! Hey! Uh -huh. It worked. <laughs> That's cool. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I forgot. We need to get the the float bowl off as well. Okay, let's turn it off and let's pull it out and see if the bowl. I'm sure the bowl off will come. It, it might have already sure fallen the off. Bowl off will come. You're sure what? That's what you said. What did I say? I'm sure the bowl off will come. Uh. Yoda. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's already coming off. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that stuff out of there. Oh, careful. I'm not wearing my safety Mickey mitten. Da, 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 da. It's pretty gross in there. Wow. That worked like a charm, though. Yeah. Gross. That's pretty bad in there. Gonna have to soak it in something. It makes me think of like it's been sitting on the ocean floor or something. Maybe Barnacle. It's barnacles, yeah. <laughs> gross. All right, let's fish out the rest. Hope I don't get my mitt wet. With carburetor soup. Eek. Wow. That's gross. These are the uh, evaporous leftovers from the Leftovers? Cylinder. Is that why they're in a Tupperware, John? Yeah, and the color of... Apple juice. Apple juice. But do not drink this. Don't do it. Bingo. Okay, it has now been 72 hours in... <laughs> Jokes. It's been, I don't know, like six or eight hours. You don't want to see this. There's a line where the 
thing was. Oh, that? you're right. Oh, and you know what? That's coming off. Here, let's spray that really. Well, what do you know? Cool. It did amazingly well. But I'm gonna add a bit more to it and soak this a little bit longer because I like how this is turning out. Uh, Jenny tells me I have a sweaty girl's face, so I apologize <laughs> for that. I didn't say that. Um, I said a nice hard-working sheen of sweat. Thank you. So the boiling trick worked like a charm. I would definitely do it again and would recommend. It didn't really damage anything. It took two minutes of boiling and the throttle slide popped right out of the carburetor where before it was totally stuck. And then we put the parts in the evaporust. This is again the leftovers from the evaporust I used with the rusted cylinder. I think that's very thrifty of you to use the leftovers. Don't sniff it. Sorry.